tea time. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. I'm here to get y'all the tea. Because y'all think y'all know my story better than me. Y'all think it'd be cool to be like, she's stupid this, she's stupid that. Used to be. Not anymore. But yeah, tea time. And nobody can tell my story better than me. I like how y'all like to, oh, she let him do this and she let him do that. No, shut up. Let me tell it. My turn. Okay, y'all. Anyways, a little less go. Let me pipe it down. People think they be off the hook. Oh, that's my dishwasher going. Oh, whatever, because I was being a little lazy tonight, and I wanted to hurry up get this done, because it's uh, 11.52 at night. Well, as we all know, I've been going through a little things, and it's been on my mind really heavy for a really long time to just tell my story how I want to tell it, you know, but it's going to be truthful, but I want to tell it how I want to tell it, and when I was ready to tell it, and I think I'm ready. I'm in a, I'm not in a good head space because I've been going through some things, but I think telling my story will help me let it out. I want to be heard worldwide one of these days, but no, 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 for real, for real. So yeah, I wanted to hear a story about the time my baby daddy had a chicken head hole in my house. Well, it went a little something like this. I got a few stories to tell tonight because I got about 30 minutes. So, boom. It went like this. So, tell me why I'm working at fucking McDonald's, catching a bus to work and shit. I would be, I would have to be to work for 10, so I would have to catch the bus at like 8. Because everybody knows San Antonio big as fuck. And where I worked, it was like a two-hour walk. If I walked. But then, still like a two-hour ride to work. On the bus. Well, it was like an hour ride. It was like an hour. But we did like two or three stops. Because some of the employees rode the bus too. I wasn't the only one. I didn't have a car. But let me tell you. I had ended up getting my taxes. And I had got me a Honda. I got me a Honda Pilot. Captain seats. Three rows. Bitch was riding nice, right? Tell me why. One night, I knew something had been going on. Because sometimes when I would come home from work, you know how, like, if you leave your salt and pepper, just like this in the kitchen, but then you're a woman, and women do certain things so they could remember it, right? So I like Bath and Body Works. I like anytime I go to any store, I don't care what we have, Family Dollar, Dollar General, if I see something that smells good, I'm going to buy it. Three, four dollars here, maybe a forty dollar perfume there, maybe a hundred dollar perfume there. I like smell goods. And so boom, you know, organized. I like certain shit, certain spot. That's just how all women should be. All of us might not be the same, but you know. So I would notice that when I was coming home from work some nights, like shit that I would leave in certain spots would now be hid in a cabinet. Or now would be hid under the cabinet. Because I had like a little closet behind the door when you walk in where a lot of my stuff was. But certain things, like when certain friends came over, I want them to know that I got this. Because, bitch, I spent a lot of money on it. But then I would like, you know, come home from work, go in there, take a shower, woo do woo And I was like, I wake him up like, hey, I ain't going to say no names. But if you know, you know. But I would notice, like, when I come home from work, certain things wasn't in where the fuck they was. So I'd wake him up, and I'd be like, hey, why this under the cabinet? This, this don't go under the cabinet. Or a shirt or something that I left on my room floor. Why my shirt ain't where I left it? So I started doing things periodically just to see if it would be different when I got home, and it was. My baby daddy's so fucking easy to get caught. I got more stories though. Anyway, it's like a hundred stories. Cause I was dumb Denny motherfucker. I was dumb Denny motherfucker. Like dumber than a dumb dog. Behind that dick. <laughs> Anyways, I was, you know, doing shit. I was fucking with him at this point. He would never admit to it. So I finally got that call, y'all. 
Mm-hmm. And my gut feeling was like, my manager was like, I was pregnant. I was early stages pregnant with Madison. And I knew I couldn't be stressed. And, and then when I had told him I was pregnant, his reaction was like, uh, again. <laughs> yes, nigga, fucking again. But yeah, anyways, let me get to it. For, 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 for. And okay, so I was fucking with him doing shit. I was fucking with his head. He didn't know. But he was thinking, oh, this bitch just rushing out the door. You know, going to work. Woo, 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 woo. But I finally had got that car or whatever. My gut feeling was telling me to go ahead and take my break. Because normally when they was telling me to take my break, I wouldn't take a break. Because I ain't got no car to go nowhere to get nothing to eat. I got to be stuck with this old nasty ass, stale ass motherfucker chicken nuggets that y'all left here all for the night. I don't want that shit. So I just get something that I make myself because I'm just like, I don't want to do this food. So when I, they finally did let me go home, I really wasn't feeling good that night. Mm -mm, I wasn't feeling good that night. But when I left, I left with the intentions of not going back to work because I knew some shit was going down in my house, bro. On my motherfucking kids. So my brother at the time, dumbass, was living with me, right? He knew everything that was going on the whole time. But he was like, nah, sis, why the fuck would I let him have a bitch in your house, you know? So I'm like, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm tripping. My brother, uh, his homegirl, homegirls and home boys live there. Like, my brother had this group of friends. One of the girls I ended up being, being really, really cool with. So she was, she would just look at me like, you know, when my brother was talking, but she'll never say nothing because we didn't know each other that good until later on down the line. But my brother was there that night when I took off from work without the intentions of going back. Yes, I'm sorry, McDonald's, if y'all watch this. I had absolutely no intentions on going back because I was going to whoop some shit that night. I don't give a fuck because I'm really quiet. I'm really put together. I'm very, like, casual person. I don't like drama, and I'm not no fighter, but bitch Taurus fucking gang. So tell me why I knock on the door. My brother opened it, but they hesitated to open it. But I ain't hear nobody say, hey, Nate, you know the door. At this point, I guess they was just opening the door for anybody. So they opened the door. I had a key. But I just wanted to see what the reaction was. I covered up the pee hole. Peep hole. They opened the door. And literally, when I walked in, everybody's face went. Like. And then the bitch covered her mouth. And I hear music going in the back. Hey. Woo. Yeah. Mm, it was. Ooh. So I'm like, okay, baby daddy must have knew I was coming here. Child got one on. But then I noticed they faces. So then I was like, okay, wait, 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 wait. Why y'all looking at me like I'm stupid? This is my shit. Yeah, how the fuck y'all don't expect me to be coming in my shit? You know? <clears throat> so boom. My brother gave me the look like, yeah, it's about to go motherfucking die. So I took off my work shirt. I had on a sports bra. Mm -hmm. Had on a sports bra. I took off my work shirt. I took off my work shoes, bitch. I took off my pants. I had a wig on. I threw that mother threw that motherfucker. So instead of knocking on the door, I kicked that bitch in. I just straight kicked it in. First, no, 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 no. I'm lying. I knocked. But then I heard my baby daddy say, "Who the fuck is it?" It's me, nigga. Open my motherfucking door. He's like, oh, shit. When he said, oh, shit, my foot met the door at the same time because I knew it was going to go down. And then there was a bitch in there, y'all. It was a bitch in my motherfucking bed. It was a bitch in my bed. So tell me why me being mean, I immediately, like, leaped. I leaped. But by the time I leaped, Nathan, mommy, I mean, <laughs> shit, fuck it, Nate, like... He like, he like grabbed for his life. He like grabbed me. But you know, he got, he's skinny, didn't he motherfucker, but he like strong too. He's really strong. He's strong. So he was like holding me. And I was like, I was like let me go. Let me go. I was out of breath. I was like, let me the fuck go. I'm gonna fuck this motherfucking house up. I probably already had put a hole in the door because I really be kicking shit in. I don't care. He was holding on for dear life. But then at this point, my brother was holding me from behind. Nathan was holding me from front. They knew I was for the... <laughs> they knew I was for the... Fuck some shit up. Hey, got a bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bitch, leave it close. Bitch, leave the motherfucking house. 
I was like, bitch, y'all live fuck close. Cause if you, I'm gonna fuck them up. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck everybody up in this bitch. So I start putting on my brother's shit. I once, once the bitch, the bitch left, y'all. She left her bra. She left the drawers. She left everything. I mean, she left out that motherfucker naked. She left the wig. By the time they um. Uh, let me go after, okay, the friend was like, okay, she drove off, y'all, let her go, let her go. I went in there, grabbed the friend by his motherfucking braids. Get the fuck out of my house, bitch. Get the fuck out of my house, bitch. Punch my brother dead in this shit. And then I was like, yeah, what a bitch had in here. What a bitch had up in here. That bitch was gone. She was down the step. She was gone. She, she, everybody cleared that motherfucker out. They cleared it out. So it ain't like I, I knew what was going on, but I didn't know. Didn't know. So then, like, I don't know where I went after that. But by the time I came back, the, next, the baby daddy was still on the floor crying. He was like, oh, my God. I did not mean for this to happen. This was not how I was supposed to go down. Well, now, what's the bitch name? I'm going to go add on the book. I'm gonna tell her to come back. I want her to come back. Bring her that bitch back. No, bitch, don't talk to me until that bitch come back. But yeah, that's the time I found a bitch in my house. And all you motherfuckers talking about some which I would have did and wooty woo. Y'all know them niggas would have held y'all the fuck down. They want to let y'all fuck that shit up. For real, for real. But still to this day, still to this day, that happened 2018, 2019. Yeah, 2018, 2019-ish. Still to this day, I don't know that bitch name. Still to this day, he won't say that bitch name. But then I talked to him earlier, and like he was just like, um, Chi, I don't, I don't even remember the bitch name. And I was like, okay, all right, oh, okay. It was, yeah, so. Somebody asked me, did I get an inbox? Oh. But yeah, I'll take an order, y'all. And um, so yeah, that's about the time that I found a bitch in my car. But yeah, he was fucking with this other bitch, y'all. Like this dude was sneaky. Like, if you ever think he just out here being faithful, he not on my kids to this day. But um, yeah, that ain't none of my business. I don't care. But yeah. But yeah, um, he ain't. He cool. We cool as fuck today. To this day, we're like, we cool as fuck. But all that other stuff, no, ma'am. We're not going to do none of that. We got to be cool for the kids. We, we, we cool. We, we cool. But we not. We not on that type of level. Mm -mm. I know how to be cordial for my kids, but we, not, we ain't on none of that other stuff. No, no ma'am. I'm not that damn stupid. But yeah, y'all, that's what that's the time that I caught him in the house with the bitch. Now let me tell y'all about this other bitch. He had a bitch Ubering him. This particular bitch was the, the was the one. That this she was the one. For real. He had this bitch Ubering her. I'm working at McDonald's still. I'm doing night shift, but he worked at the pawn shop, so he doing day shift. When I would be coming in from work around six AM, he'll be leaving out for work around nine AM. Ooh. But yeah, um, shit was just crazy. This bitch, I mean, I went through. Okay, so look, he had this iPhone, right? He had this iPhone, and he had it to where like he had like this um thumb thing going on with the phone or whatever. Let me just take this shit off. He had this little phone thing going on with the phone. Y'all know that little iPhone thing shit y'all be having going on. I got an iPhone, but I ain't I ain't even all that like with it. I ain't all that Judy with it yet. 
not yet, not yet, not yet. But yeah, um, and um, I came home from work one day, and he was just a little too sleepy for me. I don't know. I just don't trust shit. <laughs> After that whole situation with the bitch, I just ain't trust shit. So, uh, my shit wasn't just even all okay. Even after that, like for a thing. Because that's when I just was extra as fuck. And so, uh, I, I took his thumb one morning, right? And I, um, put it on there. And I read through messages that, like, it was a bitch texting him on what's, what's app? What's app? Uh, I don't know. Well, text now, what's app? Shit, I don't fucking know. Text now, I think it is. He was having this bitch saying, oh, your food outside. You know, the Uber, uh, the, the Uber Eats outside. And I'm just like, Uber Eats outside. But then he would be coming home from like work with like from the pawn shop with like Chinese food. Oh, the manager bought everybody Chinese. Manager bought everybody Chinese. Or he'll bring a burger. Girl, we'll be eating good. Who up? If you watch this to this day, bitch, we was eating that together. But yeah, so like he'll be like, um, the the bitch would send him messages telling him when the food was outside. Woo do woo woo do woo. So one morning I was just like. I texted her off his phone because I had a feeling the bitch had been in my house. Because she was like texting him shit like, your living room's nice. And I'm like, oh, it's a picture of me, him, and the kids on the living room wall. Oh, no, no, no. She texted him and she was like, why every time I come to your house, your house is very dark in the front. And I'm like, oh, so this bitch don't know. Like, she don't know. So one morning... I texted her from his phone and I was like, hey, come back. She pulled back up. I noticed when I was looking out my window, it was a red car outside for a while. She just kept looking up at my house. So I went down to the car, right y'all? I went down to the car and I was like, oh, you here for night? She was like, yeah, and no, 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 that's not how it went. That was another time. I was another time when I seen her for face to face. But she knocked on my door. And when she knocked on the door, Nathan didn't know I was home. I had hid in the kitchen just to see how shit was going to go, right, y'all? Just to see, like, if it's her or I'm tripping. I heard a knock on the door. Him being him. My brother was like, Nate, the door. And... My brother didn't even know I was home. I just snuck in. I just snuck in. And so my brother was like, Nate, the door. Tell me why when Nate opened the door, the bitch called my brother by name. And she was like, um, what's up, bro? What's up? You know, said his name. What's up, bro? And Nate was like, what, what, you, you know, what you doing back here? And so I came up by the kitchen. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, mother." Yeah, you know, I'm extra. I'm extra. I'm so extra. So by the time I was trying to approach the door, Nate, Nate, Nate was like, "Bitch, go!" He was holding me back, but he was like, "Bitch, go!" Like the door was cracked, though. Bitch, door was cracked. Bitch, get the fuck away from here. The fuck you doing here? I don't know you. So by the time she got back in her car, he let me go out. Yeah, it's two niggas holding me back. Mind you, they not crazy. I'm crazy, but they're not crazy. And so, like, by the time the bitch made it to the car, tell me why. I was like, hey, come back. Come back. I ain't going to hit you. I ain't going to hit you. But she drew. She, she, she sped the fuck off. She sped off. She sped off. I guess. I don't know, y'all. It's just some crazy shit be going on in my life. And I feel like the world should just know it because, like, y'all, I got so many more stories to tell. Like, for So many, so many. And I know a lot of y'all like, damn, why he not letting me touch these bitches? That's something y'all gotta ask him. For real, for real. But nah, the girl that I told y'all spent off in that car, I stole her number out his phone. And since she wanna be like, the bitch was weird. When I started texting her, 
telling her that I'm gonna be there here to my choke eye, <laughs> some shit like that. She was like, "But it's not really my fault, though. I didn't know about you. I really didn't. Like, I didn't know none of this about you." Yeah, she was like. I'm going to be your girlfriend. Um, just this, that, and that. I wish I still had my old phone because I kept all the messages. Mm -hmm. Bitch was on some weird shit. But yeah, that's some crazy shit. If y'all want more of the crazy stories, keep watching. Get the views up for real. Shit get crazy. Huh? I got some family shit to talk about. I got some friends shit to talk about. Oh, but let me tell y'all what went down this weekend. Tell me why I had to go to the hospital because I had a, um, I had a motherfucker, uh, I had a, uh, Pinch nerve in my back. <laughs> and so my friend wanted me to pick her up. And I was like, okay. But you gotta pump gas and stuff for me. So I'm gonna go to the hospital. Woo -woo -woo. When I got out the hospital, she went to the hospital with me and stuff. So by the time we got out of the hospital, I picked my kids up. Parkland. Y'all know my kids pop off there around there. Most of y'all know that. And uh, I went to go pick my kids up that night, right? Tell me why. We get to the gas station, and this motherfucker put diesel in my car. Diesel gas, y'all. I had to pay almost $250 just for them to drain that shit out. I ain't too fucked up about it. But damn, diesel... We was making it to Galveston on a hope and a prayer. Shit was popping and the car was fucking shaking and shit. I'm just like, oh, no, man. I'm over here talking to Siri, like, hey, Siri, figure out what this will do to the car. But I ended up stopping right there at the Valero. I was just more mad that the kids was with us. I was so mad. My kids was running around parking lot at the store. Yeah, you know that Valero right there before you get to that Dollar General. That's why my car stopped that. There's so much damn pepper in this now. I'm mad at my damn self. But yeah, um. What y'all would have done? Well, what y'all think y'all would have done in a situation like that? I really was mad, but it wasn't nothing I could do because we got we had two kids at the time, and I wouldn't have had no babysitter. If I would have put them out, and so, and I still sort of kind of I don't have any like family support when it comes to my kids, like so I still don't have a babysitter, but I have to learn them. Either hustle. That's why I don't work right now because I don't have a babysitter and haven't had a babysitter for a really long time now. But that don't mean I'm settling for nobody bullshit. I currently have full custody of my kids. And I've been stronger than ever. I have my moments like now where I just get really depressed. Depression ain't nothing to play about. I swear. Until you single mothers out there doing it alone. 
don't ever feel like you have to accept what a nigga do to you just because you don't have, like, what I basically don't have, babysitters or, or you scared to lose your job because if you lose your job, you're going to lose your house and your car. Baby, there's a lot of assistants out here. Go get you some. And let that nigga go. Go get you some. Stop being dumb. I learned that the hard way. All that bitches texting your phone telling you they fucking your nigga. And all that. Girl, cut that nigga the fuck off. These niggas out here that will cherish the ground you walk on. These niggas out here that will play step motherfucking dead D. And will. These niggas out here that you ain't got to do much for. And they will love the fuck out of you. This is really a story time, not a mukbang. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. I make it a little bit more funnier. Because it's really... It's not embarrassing. Because everybody go through shit. And I'm sorry if you're watching this and you think that it's embarrassing. And that you had a perfect relationship. Every time you was with a nigga... I applaud the ones that really do got perfect relationships, though. But I'm sure somebody got a sister somewhere or a mama somewhere or an auntie or a niece or somebody. I salute y'all for dealing with it like I had to deal with it. I salute y'all for putting y'all kids first and, you know, just not um, fully just ready to let go of y'all apartments and y'all cars and stuff. Baby, I let it all go. Everything must go. I don't give a fuck. I started all the way over when I moved uh, back to Galveston from San Antonio. I started all the way over, bitch. Mattress on the flow, air bed, big and pregnant, no furniture, just me, my kids, a few boxes of fucking cereal, a gallon of milk, and I was working at Sonic. Hot, big, pregnant. I don't give a fuck. I started all the way the fuck over. Now I got my own business. If you need a notary, hit me up. Seven dollars. I could come to you. Three dollar fee for the driving. I sell cookies. I got chocolate chip, lemon, strawberry, German chocolate. I got chocolate chip. And I'm adding more to the menu. I got red velvet. I got everything. I do uh, sweet treats by Chi. Candy grapes, candy strawberries. Uh, uh, I got... Um, I do uh, candied mangoes, candied pickles, fruit roll-up pickles, cotton candy pickles, uh, candy apples, caramel apples, uh, popcorn balls, you name it, I do it. Hit me the fuck up. That's what I do for a living, and I love what I do for a living. Because you know what? If it wasn't for me getting up and hustling, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have all the shit that I have. And if I wouldn't have met the friend that I met, I still would be out here being dumb. Nah. All that came to a halt. I can't be dumb. Mm -mm. Some things, you let a few things slide. But if you've been through what I've been through, baby, get, get, get the fuck up. Get up. Get your ass up. I ain't even your mama, but I'll snatch that motherfucking wig off. Get your ass up. Because for real. Now you, it's 2021, so now you just out here being stupid for real. <laughs> ain't nobody out here being it's cheap back. Text that fucking nigga that keep asking you to come over there when that nigga go to work. Text him back. Right, motherfucking nine five. Come take your phone and do it my stuff. Text them back, baby. Let that man that drive that Ferrari take you on a date. For real. And in real life. But I done been too loud. Y'all heard Maddie. She done woke the fuck up. Bye. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Get the viewers up on this hoe. Once I get this video to about 70, 80 likes, 
with 70, 80, 90, 100 viewers, I drop another story time.